He's the size of a five foot nine playing in a back four. Maybe he could go left back, maybe he could play in a back three, but in a back four, he cannot play there in the Premier League. Uh, I'd love to have played one game with Franco Baresi. How tall does a Premier League centre back need to be? Six foot four? Six foot? Does it even really matter? Is Martinez too small to succeed in the Premier League, like Carragher said with such confidence, before he'd even kicked a ball for Manchester United? The short answer is no. The longer answer is still no. But let me explain not just why Carragher was wrong, but the important lesson everybody needs to learn that nobody is talking about enough. And to do that, we need a quick history lesson. Premier League centre-backs. There have been some powerhouses over the years. Vidic, Terry, Ferdinand, Campbell, Adams, Carrick... Yeah, never mind. But there have been some big defenders in small packages as well in world football. Italy captain Fabio Cannavaro won the World Cup and lifted the Ballon d'Or above his tiny little five foot nine head. What about five foot nine Franco Baresi? Widely considered one of the greatest ever defenders. Who, by the way, was Jamie Carragher's ideal dream centre-back partner? He said that himself. And the thing I loved about him was that he wasn't the biggest centre-back. You see some centre-backs now, six foot three, four, and I think of Van Dijk, who we looked earlier in the show. Physically, he was very quick, I think, Baresi. Mm -hmm. But his understanding of yeah. organising the team, when to push up, drop off, and I think defensively they were as good as anything we've ever seen. Ironic that, isn't it? Almost like Carragher subjectively wanted Martinez to fail at United because he was a United player, so went after him without researching. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, where were we? Sure, if the Premier League was still the old style, Sam Allardyce football, knock it long, direct, then height might be the first thing you want in a centre-back. But here's the thing, height doesn't even guarantee that you're a better defender. In the 2021 season, Martinez had won 69% of his aerial duels in the Eredivisie and the Champions League just before he joined Manchester United. Whereas, 6 foot 5 Newcastle defender Dan Byrne had won 66% of his aerial duels. Hmm, that doesn't make any sense. Or maybe it does. Football had modernised, and Martinez was the epitome of that. After a rough first two games of the season, United conceded just twice in the next four matches, which included big games against Liverpool and top of the league Arsenal. And Martinez was the beating heart of that defence. Every action is a confrontation for Martinez, and his teammates started to follow that lead. Each member of the defence was charging down players, throwing themselves in front of shots. His proactive approach to defending is something that United greatly missed and it was now inspiring his teammates. United played Spurs at Old Trafford in October in Martinez's first season. Surely Harry Kane's technical excellence and physical presence would be a nightmare for Martinez. After all, he's too short for Premier League strikers, isn't he? Spurs managed just two shots on target. Martinez totally locked down Kane in perhaps his best performance yet. He dueled with Kane and time after time, the Argentinian's aggression gave him the edge. The centre-back labelled too small to cut it in the Premier League had just done a job on the best centre forward in the entire league. Martinez was looking good and proving people wrong defensively, but with the ball at his feet, he was on another level. In possession, his smaller stature was an asset. He takes advantage of his low centre of gravity to wrong foot pressing attackers and turn gracefully out of situations. He strolls past opposition presses. He carries the ball into midfield. On top of this, he guides his line-breaking passes through tight spaces and switches the play with long diagonals. He's absolutely instrumental to everything that United have wanted to be under Eric Ten Hag, in and out of possession. You only need to look at the drop-off in form for United after Martinez fractured his metatarsal in April. And there's more to it with Martinez as well, and arguably, this is the most important bit. The intangibles that make Martinez so much bigger. What are they? In my opinion, they're things that can't be defined by a number or a statistic. It's the fight inside Martinez. It doesn't matter if you're not six foot tall, if you can convince yourself that it's not a problem for you. Martinez was born and raised in Argentina. He fought for everything he's ever had, never been given anything. He's had to fight for it, to take it. He's earned it. And that has built a connection between Martinez and United fans. The old Trafford crowd immediately took to Martinez. He's universally loved in a way that players like Patrice Ever and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer were. He gets it, you'll hear people say. He feels like one of us. No moment epitomizes this better than his celebration with a fan after climbing over his teammates to celebrate Casemiro's late equaliser against Chelsea. He even took to Twitter afterwards to make sure we all knew how he felt. And the old Trafford crowd aren't shy about letting Leicher know how they feel about him, whether that's by displaying an enormous Argentina flag with a butcher's knife going through the center of it, or by repeatedly chanting, Argentina, Argentina. Argentina, 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 
The bond between United fans and Martinez is clearly special. When, when I heard the, the people say that, you know, the uh, Argentina, Argentina, to be honest, uh, sometimes I, I want to cry, you know, because I put many, many moments, you know, in my head, in my bikini, you know, was... So you can look at him and say he's too short if you want, but he's not out on the pitch playing as one man. He's playing with the unwavering support of tens of thousands of Reds, and that can make any man feel six foot tall. And that same mentality? I'd saw Martinez lift the World Cup alongside Lionel Messi. He was there. He started games for Argentina. Against Australia in the round of 16, he won 100% of his aerial duels and made a crucial match-winning block on the world's greatest stage. Martinez matched the very best, just like his five foot nine counterpart, Fabio Cannavaro did all those years ago with Italy. Martinez makes the absolute most of what he has. Whether that's crunching into a tackle with Argentina or playing his way out of trouble at United, and he makes his strength so strong that his weaknesses get buried. On top of all of that, Martinez gets it at United. You have to be grateful. Look at this place. Look at the badge. Look at the stadium, the people, the fans, the passion. You just have to fight for, for your people. You have to fight for, for everybody. It's not, it's not just about you. It's just about millions and millions and millions of people. So sometimes we need, we need to be humble, put the foot on the ground and go. Combine that personality, that fighter with that drive and the awareness, the understanding of the privilege of the position he's in. Mm -hmm. Y bueno, nada, queremos esta selección, la queremos por todo lo que significa, por estas lágrimas y por las lágrimas de todos ustedes. Así que gracias. That right there is the sort of combination that can make any person far bigger in reality than their stature might show you. And let this be a lesson for all of us. The cliche, don't judge a book by its cover, exists for a reason. Take your time in life to learn what it is you have to speak about. Become the best version of yourself. Don't be like Carragher. He wrote off Martinez before he'd even kicked a ball. And now he's got egg all over his face. But I suppose it's better than spit.